So I started a breathing exercise. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. One more time, in, and out. So I looked down and deep temperature is still rising. Okay, okay, Um, think about something else. Basketball, swimming, boxing, World War II, ass weapons. Come on, Tim, dig deep. Wait a minute, what is going on? I think I'm getting hacked. Oh, no, 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 this better not be Silver Wolf from Hong Kong Star Rail. Damn! A space fantasy RPG game made by Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. It's a free-to-play cross-platform RPG available on both mobile and PC. That's right, my guy. Enter a galactic space odyssey adventure and delve into a rich in-game lore with the captivating side stories while experiencing the wonder of a meticulously crafted sci-fi universe. With reimagined tactical combat over 20 plus diverse and expressive characters and a rich interactive experiences in a semi-open world to help you discover treasure chests, solve puzzles, uncover inhabitant stories, and unravel the world's secrets at every turn. Introducing the new limited five-star character, Silvo Wolf, one of the best hackers in the universe and also a member of the mysterious organization Stellaron Hunters. And Lu Ultra, a healer in battle who's constantly calm and collected and forever unfathomable. So do yourself a favor and download the game using the link under the description and use the following redeem code for an extra 50 stellar chain. Well, 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 another day, another story. But I feel damn, Tom. You were getting break money off that my guy. Sure was. See, that's the life of a teenager. Lessons no one teaches you until it's too little, too late. See, I remember the troubles of learning how to get girls for the first time. You switch up your swag, switch up your tone. Next thing you know, you a new man. After all that, they took him off the court to put him even closer yeah. to the locker room. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Bro, they asked me in media about you. What the, what? They really did. This is what movies is made of. This is what movies is made of. This is what movies is made of. Four months away, I come back to free throws. Don't worry about it. I got that. Now the problem is most people hide who they truly are. People are too afraid to reveal their true self, thereby living a lie. <laughs> Trust me, there's nothing worse than living a lie. But once again, I feel you. Damn. Then how are you supposed to get girls? See, just like you, I had to learn the hard way. Yo, Lim, can you show me how to get girls? What? You still ain't got none? Well, no, but don't tell. <laughs> Little Tim is still a virgin. Shut up. All right, here's the secret. Secret? What is it? Go to your room. Uh-huh. You beat your meat. <laughs> Man, forget you. And that might. It's where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my teenage years. See, it was freshman year in high school. Now, this was the same time your boy was taking sex ed. Now, as usual, my parents had one rule when it came to the opposite sex. No sex, period. That's right. You're supposed to wait until marriage, which is cool. I get it. Parents don't want their kids to have unexpected pregnancies. Don't want you to get STDs. Don't want you to lose on your future. But here's the problem. See, the human body, especially when when it comes to boys, it's built with two brains, one on the head and the other on the head, if you know what I mean. Then there's the pressure, the one thing all teens have to face, the pressure of losing your purity. Simply put, boys wanna catch bodies. Yeah, how many bodies is too many? I I'm taking my glasses off for this one. I ain't gonna hold you like... 30 damn near like an average nowadays. So one day your boy was at the crib with my new shorty. Now anytime I had girls over, rule number one, keep all the doors open. See, my parents didn't trust your boy, which is understandable. I mean, I was a teenager. Tim, I think we should take our relationship to the next level. I was thinking the same thing. Damn, tell you about that guy, so. So, say it. Excuse me? You know, I love you. Wait, what? Now, fellas, anytime you're in a new relationship, there comes a time when the woman pressures you to say those three words. Now, some of you don't give a shit. You'll do anything to clap those chicks, but not your boy. I was thinking more like sex. Of course, it's always about sex. Not all the time, only this time. I'm not ready. Well, what about, you know, going? Oh, I'm not doing that. Damn. Fast forward, and it's the next day in school. Your boy's chilling in class, and then suddenly, my body started rising. What the? What is going on? Now, ladies, 
quick lesson. See, sometimes, especially during puberty, boys get ball wrecked for no reason. One moment you're chilling, next thing you know, you're standing taller than Mount Rushmore. And even worse, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. All right, Tim, just be cool. Maybe it'll go away. So I started a breathing exercise. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. One more time, in, and out. So I looked out and damn, temperature is still rising. Okay, okay, Um, think about something else. Basketball, swimming, boxing, World War II, ass weapons. Come on, Tim, dig deep. Okay, what about a meditation? Yeah. So I closed my eyes, focused on nothing, and cleared my mind, and let the body relax. Ah, that's it. Now, this is where sh went left. I looked down once again, and god damn, I see the print. I can't get up like this. And then the bell rings. So Lauren comes over. Tim, you want to walk me to my next class? Um, sorry. My next period is too far. Tim, we got the same class. Tim, Tim, think of something. Uh... Man, I'm skipping class today. Boy, stop playing. So Lauren gets closer. Oh my God, Tim. Is that shh right now? What's wrong with you boys? Girl, I don't know. It just happens. It's like it's got a mind of its own. I'm leaving. Put that thing away. So my guy, I got one question for you. What would you do? Rise to the occasion. No pun intended. Or sit there and wait it out. Now you got to remember, could be a few minutes or a lifetime. So I look around, make sure no one was looking, got a book and ripped around my waist. They got to the hallway. Okay, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Damn, the hallway is so far. Five Mississippi, six Mississippi. Come on, little man, please go down. So I finally get to the bathroom, make sure the coast was clear and tucked. All right, cool. This should be good for now. And then it hit me. See, this was a sign from the brick gods that I was ready. So onward, and I invite Lauren over to the crib. Lauren, I just want to say, I love you. Really? Yeah, girl. So we got nice and comfortable, and ooh wait, this is it, my boy. Love me. <laughs> you don't love me. You're just trying to get in my pants. No, oh, girl, I love you like a fat boy love Kate. Boy, please, Kate, I really, 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 really like you. You pathetic. And then I hear a car pull up. So I look outside, and it's my pops. House rule number two, never have girls over without a parent in the house. So I was like, girl, you ain't got to go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. What you said? So Lauren hides in the closet. I get outside to help my dad get the groceries, which gave Lauren just enough time to sneak out the back. Then I got back to my room, looked in the closet, and phew. Thank you, God. That was a close one. So, is she gone? What? Now I knew it's time to get the beat. Okay, dad, let me explain. Stop right there. I only got one question for you. Did you two know, Dad? I wish. So you still up? Yes, Dad. Oh, thank God. Look, son, I know you're getting older, but you need to understand the consequences of your actions. I know, but I couldn't resist it. I want to bust. Can I ask you a question, Dad? Sure. When did you lose your virginity? Who, oh, me? <laughs> well, I was with this fine... <clears throat> I mean, I waited until marriage. You mean you've only slept with one woman your whole entire life? <clears throat> yeah. This man is a one cabin. See, parents are always pressuring kids not to have sex. Well, the question is, at what age did your parents lose their virginity? Have you ever asked them? I'm guessing somewhere around the same age as you. But for some reason, they act like you were bad for doing the exact same thing. Son, look, I know things are changing, but remember, think with your top head, not the other head. I know, Dad, but it's so hard. Bro, what if I get... The Guac Guac 3 down. What? Where'd you learn that? I know you ain't been watching the hub. Um, no? Let me check the computer history. Hold up, boss. I was just playing. Oh, no. Let me find out you out here busting all over my computer. So, moral of the story. Before you assume, learn the facts. Before you judge, understand why. And before you hurt, fail.